Hey, we're Love Child, and, and this, this is, is the, the Cook, Cook House. House. Order up! Hey, we're Love Child. Uh, we're a local uh, band, alternative rock band from Orlando. I'm Elijah. I play the guitar and I sing. I'm Aiden. I play the drums. I'm Joseph, and I play the bass. Um, so Joseph, I met in the second grade. Um, it was a new school for me, and I looked for the weirdest kid in the room. And there was another one, uh, but he didn't speak very good English, so I found Joseph instead. And uh, our, our moms decided, you know, we should hang out because we don't have any friends. And uh, we've been friends on and off again since then. Uh, and then Aiden came into the picture when uh, I went on basically the Tinder of uh, band websites and I needed a drummer and we've been through so many drummers and I stumbled upon this kid um, and I reached out to him and it didn't go anywhere uh, and then we kept our search you know for drummers and eventually I was like yeah I'll try it again and so I went back on I saw him and I was like oh this kid got a lot better so I checked to see if I had his phone number sure enough I did I reached out to him we met up and then the rest is history Start up with the, the songwriting process. Uh, I guess I kind of just, you know, especially because of COVID, was stuck inside for like you know a while. Um, and in my free time, I've just been writing the songs by myself. Uh, but I always wanted to, you know, start a band. Um, and so once I was able to find these other guys, they got to add, you know, bass to it, drums to it, and. As we played them more together, we kind of, the songs evolved, I would say. Um, I think we kind of just go for it, really, with songwriting. Like, Elijah yeah. will bring Joseph and I at our practices. He'll just bring us, you know, whatever he's written or whatever guitar riff he's kind of discovered and it really likes, and then we kind of... Just bounce them off of each other. Yeah, there's not a lot of talking through it. We'll just play through it. If it sounds good, we, we build off it. If we want to change something, we, we go back, talk it through. Yeah, some but, of the songs we wrote together, just messing around at practice and whatnot. Um, goes back way before COVID, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've been alone in a room for a while now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and then in terms of marketing, I guess we kind of wanted, you know... We, we, we know little things about, you know, social media and whatnot, but we wanted the music to sell itself, I guess. So we kind of have just been waiting for that that album release and putting all of our focus into the music and then just drop it on everybody and see what happens. You know, play as many shows as possible to get it out there. It was amazing. It, it really was. I got... I got blown away by how nice the studio was just to begin with, and uh, we had access to it pretty much the whole time we were there, so even when we weren't recording, we got to play a ton. Um, I did the first two days, and when I say that, I mean it was non-stop until like noon on the second day. My hands were beyond destroyed. But it was tiring. It was, yeah. it was an amazing process, and uh, I, we got through it so fast. I, I kind of want to go back, but... I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back there, but it was like a music boot camp in a way. We, we had like a living space in the studio that was included. So we literally, you know, recorded the music, went to bed, rolled out of bed, and went back to the studio. Um, but you know, after everybody would leave the studio, we'd go back in there at like midnight or something and just mess around, go over anything that we wanted to go over. Um, the studio was really nice. The living space was not as nice. <laughs> it was iffy. We have a lot of stories about the living space, but um, the music, we, you know, they, they sent us a, a rough version of the music after we recorded it, and so it was really, really good. So I guess, you know, it was worth it. And we, we flew through it, too. Like, oh, it yeah. It took, like, two days, and then I took the next two days, and then it was just we, you. And we yeah. originally booked ten days, and it only took us seven. Um, the first day, we recorded, like, scratch takes of all the songs. All the way through, it was like one take for you know each song. And then I did um, drums. 
Yeah, they laid drums, down the drum tracks. Yeah, and then almost all of the album. And then the next day was like two or three songs left. Yeah, and then finished the drums second day, start the bass. He took like two days, and then guitar and vocals took the rest of the time. So I kind of flew through it. Intended audience. Anyone who likes rock. I'd say uh, hippies and junkies alike. I'd probably say, yeah, anybody that, you know, needs some music that isn't uh, Olivia Rodrigo, yeah. <laughs> New album's pretty good. Oh, well, no, it's a great <laughs> album, yeah, but if, you, if you're tired of hearing the same songs all the time. You know. Anyone who likes just straightforward rock that takes elements of today's rock, grunge. If you're, if you're tired of Tame Impala, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah then uh, you have something. For Imagine you. Dragons, no, not so much. <laughs> Okay, so one of our favorite songs, we'll leave it, you know, a surprise. It's uh, we, all of our songs are original, and we have one cover song. We won't say what it is because we want you guys to listen to it. But um, you know, we I, we wanted to to take a, a song that a lot of people know and put our kind of twist on it. So I'd say that's up there with one of the, you know, uh, one of our favorite songs, but. I kind of, we, we all have like our favorites to play and then our favorites to listen to, um, but I kind of want to let, you know, the people decide which ones are their favorites. That's why we didn't want to put out any singles or anything, because we didn't want to be like, hey guys, these are the best songs, and then, you know, come out with an album and be like, well, you should also listen to this, you know? We kind of wanted to make an album that was cohesive, but with like, you know, different styles, but you could still tell us from the same band and then, you know, let them decide which ones. That, that's not even up for debate. No, that's fine. <laughs> he mean, has a list of the yeah, cars I'm, that he's driven, so yeah. I'm yeah. over 100 at this point. Yeah, we know it's him. I've driven all their cars. Yeah, everybody like, in yeah. Orlando's car. Yeah, we know. <laughs> it's an interesting question for you to ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, Haley, for that one. But yeah, I mean, I've driven a plethora of things. We have economy cars, sports cars. Oh, he's um, driven driven U-Haul box trucks. Um, yeah. I try to drive everything I can. <laughs> wow, these are targeted questions. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm for sure him. Yeah, 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 definitely. Just Joseph. Yeah, I had to um, be their automatic transmission. He usually had the best time. Uh, race time, lap time. Aiden was good though. Aiden, I mean, you were you were making some good lap times. Yeah, you know, it's a good competition. After we recorded, that's all we did at the studio. Yeah, we got some good practice in. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. Probably. Do you think him? Ouch. I'm Worst right. tattoo, yeah, for him. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Worst Who are you tattoo. pointing at? You. Me. If we were all to get a tattoo, like if we if we all got tattoos. Is this like who's most likely to get a tattoo, or who would get the worst if we all had who to get, get one? Worst. If we all had to get one, oh, oh well then uh, maybe him. I'd say him. I, I would know. say him. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Unless Elijah shit. picked for him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, are we allowed to point at ourselves? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Who you pointing you I pointed at myself. Oh, so uh, we all think ourselves? Okay, that's fine. Well, nothing to really debate we'll, there. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll hire a navigator if it comes down to it. Yeah. Probably me. I moved the most, I think. And, and he's sitting, so I, I don't know yeah, how there's, that'd there's be, no I way. don't know how that'd be possible. Yeah. Now I have to at our first show. <laughs> Hands aren't steady enough for <laughs> anything artistic. Says the drummer. I, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. Any explanation? Um, you go on more days than I do. Not anymore. Well, you're the only single historically. one. Historically. So, yeah. I I, I've been with my girlfriend for two years, so I think we're past that point. Yeah, no. I guess it has been a while. I guess. Yeah, you're I don't the know only how I'm one. gonna react. Yeah, to the next time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
I think this is shared by all of us. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I can't dance. None like of I us. Picked, I picked drums. None of us of really went to like. Did you go to prom? No, uh, I did. You went to prom? Year. I didn't go to prom. Did you go to prom? Nope. No. We don't have much dance in this place. So. I've, uh, I did, uh, I helped my cousin out with some film school projects before in the horror genre, so I guess I have a little bit of experience. Yeah, I gotta give it to Aiden. <laughs> Unfortunate. He's the shortest, so I just went with him. Oh. You know. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. I just kind of <laughs> get those vibes, you know? <laughs> and no offense or anything, but... See, I, I mean, I only had two other options, three options. I have, so. I have pretty good peripheral vision because of sports. I have a sports... You did, I mean, you I did baseball, baseball for so maybe years. Joseph. Either Joseph or Aiden. I would turn on you guys if that's what it took, so... Yeah. It was baseball, though, so maybe, you know, that's... Now, what do you count. mean by turn on you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whatever you want, Joseph. <laughs> We're Love Child. Thanks for watching. This was The Cookhouse. And our album Bliss is out now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.